Well guys, how's it going? Um, let's just say I'm a bit excited because it's finally arrived. Now, I did put a post up on Instagram on my story going on about uh, it being, uh, being arrived and uh, asking people what they thought it was without realizing that it actually says what it is on the box. Yeah, so uh, I felt a bit stupid, but anyway, it is my Skywatcher Star Adventurer GTI, and I, I loved using it when um, Skywatcher lent it out to me for uh, a few days um, to do those reviews and those videos, and it was really cool um, doing that promo video as well um, with Skywatch Australia. That was a lot of fun. But finally, have my own GTI. Oh. Hang on a sec. Oh. All right. There it is. Whew. Let's have a look. Box within a box. Box within a box. All right, here we go. Seems to be a bit of an unboxing, this. What do we got here? We have... <laughs> we have an empty box. <laughs> Love it. All right. This one feels a bit more heavier. I'm guessing it might be a counterweight. Yup, there it is, down away. Oh. Alrighty, GTI. I'm trying to do this quick. And here it is. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Okay, guys. So, um, if you've got your Star Adventure GTI and you open up for the first time, make sure you check underneath the box, like underneath one of these, because uh, that's where my counterweight shaft was hiding the book and that little piece right there. Okay, so here we go. Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI. Now, one of the things that um, I didn't like was this thing here. Just, I mean, yeah. Let's have a look here. What do we got here? Well, this is, okay. Everything seems to be all good. So, pretty happy with that. One of the things that I, um, I found with the, uh, uh, when I was using it too, was this little battery case here, which is a little bit of a pain. But, I love the fact that it takes batteries. Go-to mount with batteries. Um, don't recall it being like that. I have to check up on my old videos. I thought it was a uh, um, different sort of knob. But anyway, there it is. Uh, USB cable. And now, now that we have the little Skywatch Star Adventure GTI, let me know in the comments below if you guys have uh, ordered one yourself. What camera? What do I set it up with? What do I use it with? Because 
let's face it, I've got the twin rasses. Um, they're my full on deep space sort of uh, imaging setup. Um, now that they've been converted to uh, monos and, um, and I'm punched away some pretty cool images there. I've got my QHY 294 um, color camera and I've got my uh, Z7, Nikon Z7, which has been Astro modified. Now, I'm always thinking maybe this should be the people's um, mount. So, what camera do you think I should use? Do you think with the portability of the little GTI, I should go the, uh, the Z7 for some uh, mirrorless astrophotography action? Or do I use the QHY, which is just sitting around, really gathering dust, not doing much at all? Um, now, what are the advantages? The advantages are it's cooled. For one, easy to do with my calibration frames um, and bits and pieces like that. So I am kind of leaning towards the, uh, the QHY. Um, but at, I mean, at the same time, I guess it doesn't really matter. I do have my, uh, my Shimoda Z7, which is um, mostly for my nightscapes anyway, which I haven't really shot too much of lately. Um, and whew, I got this. So. I did think about using the 51.2 here, which is at the moment on my um, the Z, uh, Z6 II uh, camera, because um, I was using this for all my, my uh, video recording um, for my YouTube channel, which is the Z6 II, and uh, now I'm using the little Nikon Z30, which is uh, recording right now. But um, I was thinking about using the Z7, Ashramon Z7 with the 51 II for some nice wide field um, 50 mil shots uh, tracked. Um, but then it got me thinking about the, uh, the QHY. And I'm thinking maybe I should pick, well, maybe I should use the old uh, Nikon 70 to 200 2.8 lens, get the adapters, um, because it's not a, a Z mount lens, it's an old FX mount lens, and uh, get the adapters. And, uh, and use this for it. Or do you think I should uh, get myself a little, uh, a little refractor? I don't know. I'm thinking more wide field. Um, yeah, so I'm a bit unsure at the moment, but uh, I will have to look at setting it up soon, I reckon, getting some gear and, and, um, and setting it up at the moment. My money's all gone into those damn rasses. And uh, and the filters at the moment um, just ordered a uh, Beta CMOS Optimize HA um, filter, and the, I don't know if you if you're searching for uh, CMOS Optimized um, Beta filters, oh, I'm finding them very hard to uh, get a hold of at the moment. Can't get them here in Australia. Um, I'm uh, currently purchasing mine from uh, Telescope uh, Express in Germany um, so yeah anyway pretty excited Skywatch Star Adventure GTI let me know if you have uh, received yours yet um, if you're in the very first of the pre-orders like I was uh, hopefully you guys have uh, had a, uh, a call or a message to say that um, yours might be available so uh, yeah let me know in the comments below what you think a good little setup will be for the, uh, the Star Adventure GTI. Anyway, so that's it for me. Um, pretty shortish sort of video, but uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe. And until next time, guys, take it easy. See you.